Greetings, my dear student. We will start lesson 3.1 about reflection. The objectives of this lesson is to find a reflected image and write a rule for a reflection, to define reflection as a transformation across a line of reflection with given properties and perform reflections on and of a coordinate grid. The essential understanding for this lesson is that reflections are rigid motions across a line of reflection. Student will create an image given a pre-image and a line of reflection, both with and without coordinate plane. Important vocabulary for this lesson is image, line of reflection, pre-image, reflection, and transformation. A new vocabulary for us to know is rigid motion. So let's see what we will take throughout this lesson. Go through some examples here. We have, of course, always on Savas, we have the activities that we can do, interactive before, after, and during. how to understand and apply, what is a rigid motion, throughout examples, and many, many more. So here, the concept reflection. What does it mean? Reflection has these properties. What are the properties of reflection? And then we will apply them throughout an example. We will reflect in a figure across a line. Then, we will reflect a figure on a coordinate plane. How is that done? And then we will conclude the rule to do so. First example is about identify rigid motions. What is it? It's a transformation that preserves the length and angle measure. Is the transformation rigid motion here? We will learn if it's yes or no. We'll go through many other examples in which we can identify. And then we'll study the concept of reflection. How is it done across a line? We will apply it here. How is that reflection, the reflection across the line? Three steps to do that. <coughs> step one, step two, and step three. This is very interesting lesson. Reflect a figure on a coordinate plane. We have the ordered pair given and we need to reflect the graph. We have many steps. Find and draw a prime across the reflection, then G. All the steps, we'll do them in details. Now, and then we will reach the conclusion here, which is the rule to reflect on a line. Another important example, reflecting points across the x-axis and the y-axis. How are they reflected throughout this example here that we will be using in the class? Next, we have to describe a reflection across a coordinate plane. What reflection rule map triangle KLM to its image? And then we'll do step one, step two. All the steps are here on Savas. And then you can figure out the rule. Hope you will enjoy the lesson, understand it. And then we will apply reflection. How do I reflect it? Like here on the billiard game. Focus, study hard, and stay safe. Have a nice day. Bye.